Hi, Dr. Marcia Sirota here, and today I want to talk to you about back to school mental health issues for parents and children. So we're in the back to school season now. It's September in Toronto, Ontario, and many of the children who are school aged are going back to school. And of course, it's creating a lot of uncertainty and confusion and anxiety for both parents and children. So I wanted to talk about what parents and children can do right now to mitigate their anxiety and feel good about going back to school. Because of course, being at school is so important for children's mental health, their emotional well-being, and their social development. It's so important for children to interact with each other, to be with their teachers, other adults, and to have that school experience. But because of all the uncertainty and the fact that we're in a fourth wave of the pandemic for COVID, we really have to think about how to make it the best safest and most positive experience possible for children and of course for their parents who are worrying about the welfare of their children. So what can parents do in order to feel less anxious about their children? Well the first thing they can do is they can make sure that their children who are eligible for vaccines get vaccinated because of course once they're vaccinated their risk of catching COVID is way down and their risk of having a serious illness if they do happen to catch COVID is much minimized. The other thing that parents need to do is that they need to recognize that in every situation where there's uncertainty, there's no 100% guarantee. So they have to be able to tolerate some of the uncertainty and know that they're doing the very best that they can given these uncertain times. So one of the things they can do is they can speak to the teacher of their children's classroom and make sure that the teacher is taking all the precautions necessary. And if they don't feel that the teacher is taking things seriously, they can consider bringing their children out of the class and putting them in a different class or even homeschooling them. Another thing that parents can do is teach their children good responsibility and good you know, self-care so that the children can learn how to wear their mask properly, maintain social distance and maintain good hand hygiene by washing or sanitizing their hands after any kind of contact. So parents can teach their children to be more empowered around things that might be anxiety provoking, which will be a good skill for these children to have for now and for the future. Another thing parents can do is practice some mindfulness meditation. They can do that with themselves and they can also do that with their children and that will help them be calmer and more able to tolerate these very stressful times. And for the big picture, parents can think about how their school board locally and how their government is handling the pandemic. If they don't feel good about their school board, they can vote for different people in the next election round. If they don't feel good about their government, the same thing. They can vote for a different government in the next election round. They can put their money where their mouth is, for example, and vote in the people who they feel are taking the pandemic seriously and are instituting the proper measures to keep their, their children safe. So anxiety is all about feeling out of control, feeling helpless, feeling overwhelmed, and not feeling that we have any choice. But even in an uncertain time where, of course, we don't know how safe our children will be, there is a lot that we can do. First of all, we can look at the rate of transmission in our community. Here in Toronto, where the vaccine rate is close to 80%, we can feel that because there's such a high rate of community vaccinations, the risk to the children who are going back to school is relatively low. Also, we know that children don't usually get as ill as adults do, and so we can be a little bit more reassured that way. In communities where the rate of transmission in communities where the rate of transmission is higher, of course, there are greater concerns and we need to be exercising more caution. But even in situations where we feel like there are so many variables and so many factors that we are not able to control, there are things that we can do. And wherever we have a choice, we need to exercise the best choice. Another thing adults can do in the community, whether they have children or not, is get themselves vaccinated because when they lower their own risk of catching COVID, they lower the rate of transmission in the community and then the children are safer when they go back to school. So hopefully everyone will be doing the right thing for themselves and for the children who are going back to school and this will help to decrease back to school anxiety.